Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex, the comic Quarter. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video. In this video, we've got Bronze Age, we've got Silver Age, and we've got Golden Age, all from the same shop. One of my favorite shops in Missouri. Hopefully you guys are excited. Here we go. This video is sponsored by Shortbox. It's the easiest and safest way to buy and sell graded comic books online. There's a link in the description below to download the app for both Apple and Android users. Check out the link, start shopping today. They upload amazing books every single day. So check them out using the link in the description below. One of my favorite comic book shops of all time is in St. Louis, Missouri. It's called STL Comics. It is incredible. They have over 75,000 comic books in their showroom, two for a dollar bins, dollar bins, two dollar bins, five dollar bins, priced as marked, new inventory. It is insane. Every single day, they're putting out heavy, heavy hitting books and reloading their dollar bins, reloading their five dollar bins. This place is nuts. If you have to make plans to visit St. Louis to see STL Comics, it is worth it. It is a must stop by shop so definitely check it out also follow them on instagram hashtag i'm not sponsored by stl comics i just love their shop so much they post on instagram and i knew i needed these four books they, they don't often get in a ton of golden age so every time i see it i have got to jump on it this first one is mary marvel number 26 the run ends at number 28 so this is a neat mary marvel cover Looks like a lot of craziness going on. There's a clown there on the cover. There's a lady on a swan, some gentlemen and ladies in the in the grandstands there. This is really, really cool. And this is from July of 1948. I thought these were in pretty decent condition. Nice faucet books. This is a Jack Binder cover. Really like that blue cover. Love those, um, the, the yellows and the reds in this cover. Just really, really neat from 1948. Next one up is a great Captain Marvel Jr. cover. This Freddie Freeman obviously blasting through the wall. Captain Marvel Jr. number 65 and this is from September of 1948. Love that cover. It is a Kurt Schaffenberger cover and that just looks incredible. Smashing action and excitement. Really really neat book. This may be in the lowest grade out of all of them. A little bit of tears there. Still attached fully attached at both staples. This is the first doc scheme. So first appearance in this book. This is a key issue. This next one is insane how many first appearances are in this book. I just love the cover. You don't often see like this kind of like pink in these comic books, but this is Captain Marvel Jr. number 63. And check out that pink cover. It's a chilling adventure for sure. This is from July of 1948. So this and that Mary Marvel came out in the same month. So I'm gonna put those right next to each other. Really cool pink cover. This is the first appearance of Killer Bane, Foxy First, the first appearance and death of Sam Spade, the first appearance of Jennings Fuller, and the first appearance of Mr. Beaks. This is, I mean, could this be the next Grail book? I don't know. So many first appearances from July of 1948. So I'm going to put those two there as they came out in, both in July of 1948. This one came out in September. Love those ones. And I got another one as well. This is Master Comics, and this one came out a little bit later and this one's got like a, a mix of different characters and different stories. So this is Master Comics. It's got the Freddie Freeman, Captain Marvel Jr. cover on it. This is also a Kurt Schaffenberger cover. 130 from October of 1952. Um, really nice yellow cover. I could take or leave the rest of these stories. I could take or leave this Tom Mix up top. I just want the Captain Marvel Jr. That is really cool. I don't think there's any first appearances or anything like that in this one, but really great lineup of Fawcett books. If you like Fawcett, book, Fawcett books, Dragon Inc. is a huge Fawcett fan. Hiram Collectibles on Instagram. Just finished his Mac Raboy cover collection. Incredible. And Jerry the Jitterbug. Really, really great faucet collectors. I was really happy to pick up those from STL Comics. Now, I cannot remember what I paid for each of them, but say it was like $40, $40, $50, $50, something like that. Maybe one was $30. I don't think I paid any more than $50 on any of them, but they're about $30 to $50 a piece, which I thought, man, those are like 2008 prices. Like those are like 2010 prices. So I'm going to pay those, get these $30 nice faucet from the golden age all day long. I'd pay 30 to $50 for those. Then I claimed this one on their Instagram. He posts pictures and I claimed it. And I think I may have claimed it too soon, too quickly, but I, I, I wanted to buy it either way. It's a book that I've wanted. I just didn't know the condition. And he's always willing to, you know, tell you what the condition is. He's always willing to show you the books. I just claimed it. Like as soon as I saw it, just too quick uh, for my own good, but it is amazing. Spider-Man 
number 121. You know, you might think like $100, that's a good price. It's like a 1.5 with this chunk missing here. Honestly, not bad anywhere else, but with that chunk missing, I would say like a 1.5 to 1.8, somewhere in there. And he priced it accordingly. I mean, that's probably like a, a 1.5 price for this book. This is one that I just don't know if I'm gonna keep because I would love to have like a full cover. Now, if this was on the back, it may be better, but I wanted to buy it either way. Gonna read it and then maybe pass it along to the next collector who wants to buy it, who doesn't mind low grade Amazing Spider-Man 121, The Death of Gwen Stacy. Now I was in their shop digging, probably when I was picking up some of these books maybe, and I found this book and how timely, I think it was 30, 25, 30 bucks or something like that. I had a bunch of other books picked out and I just put them back. I just knew that this was the book that I wanted to buy. And I'm so glad I did because I loved this character in the first Black Panther. I loved him in Infinity War and Endgame. And this is, so the book is The Mighty Avengers number 62. And this is the first appearance of M'Baku, the man ape. You guys know M'Baku's awesome in Wakanda Forever. He's awesome in Black Panther. Just a great, great character. And this is the first appearance. Now, one also really, really cool thing about this is there is a cool date stamp in that blue, January 11th of 1967. So I really like that date stamp. Really happy about that. Love this book. And for 25, 30 bucks, whatever I paid for this, it was well worth it. Love that character, M'Baku. I've had that book like four or five times and so i'm happy to have another copy now the last one is a really cool book and it was kind of an impulse buy this one i got for a really really great price this is a pedigree book and it's the first time i've owned a pedigree book no i've owned a pedigree book but with the new black and gold label so this is cgc pedigree grade and it's the sucha news sucha news i'm probably butchering that. So this is Submariner number 44, 9.0 white, off white to white pages. The reason I love this is because it's Submariner versus the Human Torch, just like the Golden Age. So this is really cool. Yeah, and it says Human Torch versus Submariner. That's the keynotes in it. And so that's why I really like this really cool Gil Kane from 1971. So I really loved it. Love the fact that it was a pedigree. Love the fact that it was the Sucha News. The Sucha News was there was a collector and he went to this newsstand and they would let him pick out his comic books and they would let him cherry pick the best condition books. I don't know if they would let him go in early or what. Before anyone else got to the, the stack of books, he was able to pick these books out. I think they're Silver Age to Bronze Age, somewhere in there, but either way, really, really cool pedigree book. And I was so happy to get it from STL Comics. So I got all these books from STL Comics, one of the best places. Like what, like I said, hashtag not sponsored. Just love them so much. Really do appreciate you guys being here. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Really, really cool books. If you're not already subscribed, if you're brand new to the channel, hit that subscription button, hit that bell to be notified, hit that thumbs up. You guys really do appreciate it when you hit the thumbs up and comment down below what you thought of these books. Which one do you guys like the best? And with that being said, you guys, thank you once again, and I'll talk to you all on the next one. See ya, bye.